Hi everybody, tonight I thought I would share with you a piece that I'm going to do which is a commemorative um, <coughs> urn. So this is um, a hand thrown to put a little tea light in and I'm going to put on it uh, hibiscus and dog rose hand painted which is because the lady liked to travel which hence it says live like Lila. So uh, I'll get on and I hope you enjoy it and have a go at painting this on something else. There we go. Right, can we see? Let's put it down a little bit more. There we go. Um, okay, here I've got a little Opto easel which is going to keep this in place and I'm going to do a wash of, I'm using Colour to Clay which is uh, uh, an M-gobe and I'm going to do a wash of mint so I've made it almost like water it's probably got about 80 to 90 percent water in it and I'm just going to so I call this swishy swishy look I dab it all over the the pot just to give it a background without it hopefully having a brush mark or a run if it gets a run I just sort of chase it and so that it doesn't have a line in it and I keep it really really watery and I've made far too much enough to to wash over probably 10 pots um, and the writing is already done and it's fired in and I did base coat this white because it's stoneware and it's slightly creamy so I'm just going over the writing with this wash uh, there we go that's all washed on and this will make the flowers stand out a little bit more. Let me just put a little bit more in. And you see if you look up close, can you see the lights are so very bright in here, um, that you can't actually see a stroke. And there's an awful lot of water in this paint. You could do it with a one stroke. And I suppose you could do this with acrylics as well. I'd do an inky wash with an acrylic if you wanted to with acrylic paints. So I've done that with a goat hair, half inch goat hair, soft, soft grip brush from Royal, which I really love these brushes and they're very useful for glazing or, or base coating. Now I put the colours out, um, I'm going to do um, some little blades of uh, like fern and some dog roses which are from Virginia where she liked to go a lot and the hibiscus from Ibiza which is another place she liked to go a lot and it's Oh, I need to give the wash to the top. This is the top which takes a tea light. So I shall just pop a little bit on there so that it matches in. So a soft, just a soft wash of paint. And I might go up into the tea light with the design. I'm just going to design as I go along. I don't actually haven't even given it a thought what I'm going to do, other than I know that's where she like to go. There we go. So that's just a let that dry. Um, so I'm going to use a round. So I'm going to use a sable round because they've got um, they hold a lot of paint, but it's quite forgiving because the hibiscus stroke that I'm going to do is like what I call a shunt stroke. So it's quite um, invasive on the brush. So just a nice. This is I think it's a number six round which doesn't actually mean a thing, but it's about the right size for the flower that I want. I want the flowers to be quite big. Uh, I'm not going to make them um, too, you know, all tiny. I'm just going to make them very big and bold, the flowers. So it just covers it. So it's not like a scenery, if you'd like. Um, okay. So what I do is I've loaded with the light paint. And I'm going to tip with the dark. If you can see that, it's um, you can see, clearly see the two colours. What you do is you lay it onto the pot like so, tip, smash it down right to the uh, metal, give it a little wiggle, like a skirt, wiggle, 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 and it makes it fan out, push it forwards, lift up the back and pull it back. And that's one petal. It's a, just a wee bit wet actually. It's, so I'm just going to try the brush out with a bit of tissue. I don't want it to run down the pot. So again, five, uh, one, five petals. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's five petals to an hibiscus. I hope so. So 
say it again lay it down give it a little wiggle pick up the back shift it forwards and pull it back down give it a little wiggle pick up the back shove it forwards and pull it back into the center so we've got th three there give it a little wiggle 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 pick up the back shunt it forwards and pull it back again over here wiggle 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 shunt it forwards and pull it back so i think you can see that you've got a nice blend of colors there and I'm going to let it dry before I put any kind of center in it. Okay, so now I'm going to go for the same flower, but a slightly different color. So I'm going to add a little bit of white. You can see some white on my carousel. Um, here we go, a bit of white. And I'm not going to wash the brush. I'm just going to fill it with white. So it's going to make a softer pink. And I'm still going to go in the dark pink again. And I'm going to come uh, over here. So press it down. Oh, it's wet again. Too wet. So load up the paint. The soft pink. Pop it in the. Pop it down. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Push it forwards, and pull it back. See, it's slightly different because it's got white in it. Push it down, wiggle, 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 push it forwards, pull it back. And as you pull it back, you turn it a little bit. Down it goes, wiggle, 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 push it forwards and pull it back. I hope you have a go at this. Comment below if you've enjoyed it and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Push it forward and pull it back. So we've got two, two a similar size so what I need to do now is scrap that brush and get a smaller round if I can find a small sable round um, but first of all I'm going to not do any more hibiscus I'm going to do some dog roses so the dog roses I think I'm going to try the dog roses they've got four petals and they've got a, a small split in each petal at the top so I'll go for a round, small round brush. Um, uh, what should I go for? I'll try. Uh, I'll try number three if I can see one. Or oh, even a filter might do it actually. Let's have a look. There's a filter. Let's try that. So Dampen the brushes a little bit and I'm going to do um, some white with this bit, slight bit of pink in it, Dog Rose, which is the, um, the, the, the flower of um, Virginia. So I've done the same thing. I've fully loaded it and then I just loaded the top. And I'm just imagine that your middle's there. Now, if, you, if you're going to get confused where the middle is, what you can do, it has got a green middle, is you can just pop a little green dot. And then pull in to your dot. So tip, pressure on, and pressure off. So it's kind of made almost like a comma. And then do the same again. Tip, pressure on, and pressure off. And you can see it's almost made... A heart shape and it's just gonna have four of those so <gasps> oh wet fingers wet wet paint at the other side pressure on and pressure off to a point in the middle pressure on and pressure off leaving each petal with like a split at the top because that's what a dog rose looks like and again load up with the white with a slight bit of pink in it tip with dark pink tip pressure on and pressure off oops not enough pink tip pressure on pressure off tip pressure on pressure off load up pressure on pressure off pressure on pressure off so you can see you've got four quite spacey um 
um, petals. And then in the middle, <clears throat> they're very, they're, they're full of small uh, green, like little lumps. So I'm going to use a very small detail brush with the limey green and put a tiny bit of dark green on and then pull these in like, like um, commas. So you tip and put, press and pull, tip, press, pull, press, pull. Try to make them different lengths. Press and pull, 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 pull. And then turn it and have some coming out the other way. So it forms a round middle. you can see that then it's got a very slim leaf so we'll give it a bit of a um, tweak so if I get a slimish liner load the brush up with a wee bit of green and I'm going to put just a bit of terracotta brown in that green and a tiny bit of the dark brown and pull in a stem Coming up into that, a bit more brown, I think. And pull out some stems coming out from it, or you can put some leaves on. Don't know if I'm dry at the other side, not quite. There's nowhere to, I'm trying to not take too long to do it so you don't get too bored. And I'm almost like to see the whole thing, so pull some branches out where you can put some foliage on there we go and then have a very slim leaf it's got a very pointy leaf so in with the number th it's so what is it now it's the number two sable brush a small bit of green and tip, press it on, and press it off, so I can find somewhere to put my fingers, and again, press it on, and press it off, press it on, and press it off, oops, press it on, Press it off. You can see that's sort of going around the design, and we will have another um, dog rose up here. So, in with the white, which is slightly pink, tiny bit of um, the um, dark, and I'm just going to make some um, one that's not fully open. So. Pressure on, pressure off to the stem, and then next to it, so there's that split in the piece. And then I'll put another petal there with a split on the piece, and that's representing one that's not quite open. I'm not actually sure um, what the calyx looks like, so I'm going to guess. So I'll just pull it into there because it has to be held in by something. Okay, so that's a couple of dogwoods. Let's go back to our hibiscus at the other side. Now the hibiscus leaf is quite big. So I'm going to get the round brush back. We'll get a small, but not as small brush and load with the paint so load with the light color side load with the dark color and give this shall i shall i yeah um so i'm going to do a leaf with some simple strokes so tip press and pull it in load again tip press and pull it in Tip, press and pull it in. Try to keep a little bit of a uh, pointy bit at the end. It's 
So there you've got a leaf for the hibiscus. I do give another leaf coming out of here. So nowhere to put my fingers. So tip and then press it in. Tip and then press it in. Press it in. There you go. So you've got some uh, another hibiscus leaf there. And then we can have one come in over the flower here. So I'm going to tip and press it in, put some dark on the end, tip and press it in, press it in, press it in, press it in, and there, and there, and there. Okay, one of my kind husband's brought me a gin tight. That's nice, thank you. Press it in, like so. And then we're going to have a, a centre. So I'm going to get a, a slim brush to have a, a centre. Um, we'll try this one. Again, I'm going to do the shunt stroke. So I'm going to put a, a wee bit of orange on. It's sorry, yellow. And oops, that's this afternoon's orange, is it? It's getting a little bit firm, I think. And Go to the end of where the hibiscus would be and push it down, give it a little wiggle and push it forwards and then pull it, pull it a bit, then gather a little bit of green, oh not that much, and pull it in, oops, a bit more, pull it in to the centre. Can you see that? Okay, and then sure you've got no water in your brush dry it a bit so you don't get any ones and do the same with the other one so I'll put a little bit more orange out because it's a bit dry that orange just need a drip so load up with the yellow again and then tip in the orange so you see you've got two shades on the brush Come to the outside of the hibiscus here and tip, smash it down so the metal touches the pot, give it a little wiggle, shove it forwards and pull it, start to pull it back but load a little bit of green when you get part way but only soft, try to blend it in, it's not quite blended in there, just pull it out a little bit so it's soft, so you have just sort of blended it in. And then, uh, so that's those, and then I'm going to do some more leaves. So we'll have the light green, tip with the dark green, and tip, brush and pull, pull it in. So there's a leaf coming out of there quite busy now and um, don't like oh gosh got four flowers that's bad so let's have a few more of these dogwoods so I'm going to load with the white tip with the pink and I'm going to put a dogwood down here so tip pressure on and pressure off and then one right next door so it makes a, like a heart shape Load up again and do another one, pressure on and pressure off. Here's a bit more pink, pressure on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. It's gone a bit dark. And then another one, pressure on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. This is opaque, this colour, so it will cover up what's underneath. So that's three, four, five. And then we could put a couple of hibiscus buds. So um, we'll load with the pink and the side pink. And we can put one here. Press on, press off. Press on, press off. So it's like a little heart. I need to get rid of the water out of the brush. Load again and do another one. Have one down here. Press on, press off. Press on, press off. A bit of pink on the end. I'm going to take the colour out. I'm going to have a bit of a pinky white one. So that's one, two, three, that's four, five, six, seven, 
I've got two more buds, eight, nine, I'll do. So push it on, push it off, push it on, push it off, and one down there. And then they've got to be long, so they don't be long at the moment. Oh, yum. Cheers, everybody. Um, so we get a thin brush, load with the light and the dark um, of the greens and push it on, push it off so that this hibiscus actually belongs. Push it on and off. Another one over here. There we go. And now we need some tiny, tiny dots. Um, so a stylus would be good. Bet there isn't one up here. Look. Aha! Stylus. Yum, yum. Right, okay, so I'm going to use the thinnest end of the stylus and put some spots around the hibiscus, the end of the hibiscus, going on the, um, the, the little rod that came out of the middle, the um, stamens. And it will cover up what's underneath. And then here, obviously this, uh, needs the middle of this um, dogwood flower so light and dark light and dark so push it on and off just doing some the tiniest commas you can possibly do and I have a mountain of brushes so it's not um, you can never have enough brushes I always think so that's that centre done And now I want to put some ferns in it, some kind of fern. So let's find, let's see what the lid's going to look like. I'm going to probably, because the lid's cut off there, I'm probably going to uh, carry this lid on. Let's have a look there. So we'll do... the leaf actually carrying on so that mm, not quite so that it matches this bottom so when you take the lid off it actually carries on and the same with the dogwood at the other side but I'll do it later so the dogwood when the, if the lid's on is coming up into the lid and I might paint something in the very centre as well um, so we'll take that off again and choose a different brush to do a um, fern I could do a kind of a really long one maybe I wonder if that one will work not sure let's try it on a try it on a tile heavily fill it full of paint I'm going to use a jade colour. So what can I do it on? Let's do it on the tile. So if we have it, yeah, that'll do. Okay. So I'm going to pull up a centre stem with the jade. The thing is, don't be worry about going over a flower because that's what makes things look natural. So there's a stem, and then I'm going to load with the light, and tip with the dark, and fill, fill that stem. So it's coming from the bottom. So I'm gonna go tip press, pull it off. Tip press and pull it off. and pull it off. OK, 
can wave it to one side. So you've got a th just like a piece of fern going up there. And then we'll have a piece coming out here. And same again. So don't go over the writing, Rachel. So to press and let's wait to the side. Tip press, wave it to the side. Another piece. Another piece. So you've got that going on. It's hard to tell what if you're seeing it right because the light is a little bit too bright with these lights. Might be something that we have to change. And I'm all alone, no Liz tonight. Don't see much of Liz these days. She's so so busy. And we will have a little bit up here, I think. So a bit of dark. Let's have one coming. Take a bit of paint off. Let's have it coming here, going behind, coming up here. And then again, tip brush it on, brush it off. Brush it on, brush it off. Push it on, push it off, on, off, on, off. Yeah, it's looking quite nice. Might be nice to have a butterfly when I've finished. Then I think I have one sort of forward flopping, flopping over here, down there. Load the paint. I've, well, load the paint quite heavy. You, you can see it's almost going to drip off because it's just a liner so tip pressure on and pressure off but you get such a nice point look because it's a liner pressure on pressure off on off there you go so that's looking yeah I think that's looking okay think my friend will like that and uh, maybe just to let's have a dark stem coming through these so I'm just going to take the paint off because it's a bit thick on there dry it off and I'm going to thin this jade to an ink and let's just pull up the middle let's pull one out of here one out of here and perhaps let's have a couple more leaves coming out of here so light green and a bit of brown two more leaves on there let's see what, what did we have I have this one what color are they light very light green with a tiny bit of dark green so tip pressure on and pressure off on off so going over your flowers makes it look more natural so there we have it it's finished to be ready to be glazed oh no it's not it's got no no center to that just one more middle gosh put far too much paint out there we go so that is finished it's very wet so it's hard not to smudge it so there we have lila live like lila she had a good life and there's some all the flowers that she liked and the places that she went anyway i hope you've enjoyed that do you subscribe uh, feel free to go to our website where we have all the paints brushes and uh, 
um, there are some pattern packs as well and if you if there's anything you want feel free to just email me at rachel.co.uk anyway have a good evening and all stay safe thank you for watching